What's going on guys, Orzio here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Road to the Final Oxlade Chamberlain card to review. It is a card that is looking really nice all rounded. He's got 91 pace with 92 dribbling, 85 shooting, 87 passing, 78 defending with the 87 physicals as well. He's a 5 foot 9 player with high high work rates, 4 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. The high high work rates in that sentiment position is going to be very nice to have because you know he's going to go forward giving you those passing options and he's going to be obviously on defense as well running around kind passing lanes man marking tracking plays he's going to be doing it all with that high defensive work rate now when it comes down to the chem style anger chem style is what i decided to go for you could go for a shadow chem style on this card if you want to max out this guy's pace but i feel like the pace with the anger chem style is more than enough for a midfielder you got 97 acceleration and 96 sprint speed on this card so yeah i feel like the anger chem style is the way to go because you might as well go ahead and give him the extra physicals we are looking at an oxlade chamberlain card that has got 94 strength and 95 aggression with the anchor chem style those kind of physicals is going to be really nice to have in that midfield now his shooting ability just take a look at it 91 attacking positioning with 81 finishing 95 shot power with 90 long shots as well his shooting looks unreal for a midfielder i'm obviously happy with those kind of shooting stats but has he got his shooting traits Unfortunately, he does not. Imagine, especially with those kind of long shots, like the finesse shot trait. Oh, it would have been so, so nice to have. Now, his passing stats, I mean, the passing looks top tier as well. 90 vision, 88 crossing, 90 short passing, 85 long passing with the 82 curve as well. And you have to keep in mind, he has got a four-star weak foot as well. His dribbling ability, dribbling ability looks stupidly good. Like 90 agility with 98 balance, 88 reactions, 93 ball control, 93 dribbling with the 86 composure as well. I'm definitely expecting him to feel really good on that ball. And his defensive ability looks top tier 90 interceptions 84 defensive awareness 94 standing tackling with a 90 slide tackling as well while on top of that having 94 strength and 95 aggression with the physicals i'm expecting him to go up to people and just push him out of the way and easily come out with the ball he also has got 90 jumping with 93 stamina i do like to see that 93 stamina on a player that has got the high high work rates because i know he will be lasting for the whole 90 minutes now the links the links are top tier just straight up top tier man you get like a weak link with players like kent you get a hyper link with curtis jones you get a strong link with Mane, a strong link with salah so yeah the links are in insane now the positions i will be playing him in uh two positions the sentiment position and the cdm position in a four and two and four and two and two narrow and a four four two so let's get into the games and let's see how good chamberlain is gonna be Ken, are you going to make a run in behind? You are going to make a run. I'm going to pass across here. Look at Oxley chamberlain trying to make a run in behind there already. Just straight off the bat, him being aggressive, going forward, trying to find that space so he can be that player that can get in behind. That's a good pass in behind the midfield, but Oxley chamberlain is there to intercept it. Go for a ball roll, keep it calm, and just dribble straight past Kent. Just going to turn around here, give it back to Curtis Jones because I can't really see a passing option. Oxley chamberlain though, he was trying to make a run going forward. He recovers. Go on. There you go. We'll roll that. Nice cut in. No, if I greened it, it might have gone in. But you see how quick he recovered there? Like he was going forward. The pass clearly didn't work out. But we switched straight onto him, sprinted back, and we got the ball back. I'm just going to play that up. I see a run all the way to the top. I'm going to go for it. It's just to see if Oxlade Chamberlain can hit down a first time. And he does it really well. Please. Oh, come on. How are we not going to get a goal there? That's an amazing save. We're going, Vinny. Play that down the line to Chamberlain. That's an amazing pass. And I'm kind of surprised he even made that run. I did not tell him to make that run. But yeah, he just saw the gap wide open and he went for it. Let's see what we can do here. Nice ball roll. Go for a few turns. Go for maybe a hill to hill. I tried to go through the middle. He still got it, though. Great strength to hold off the player. I should have kept it simple. I should have gone for that pass back. But you guys can clearly see dribbling on this card. Yeah, it isn't bad. It is really, really nice to work with, especially as a midfielder. Like, you can just give him the ball, go for a few turns, ping a ball straight over to Vinny. Vinny, you're meant to score that. That was like a perfect way to end it. We're going to chase him down. Keep it going. I knew he was going to go line. Now, use your strength. No way he doesn't use his strength there against Kaka to completely body him off the ball. But he did well to intercept it. He's going to cut back 100%. There you go, Rivaldo. Well played. Nice pass over to Chamberlain. Good ball roll. Let's go for a pass here. 
I see Vinny on the other side. Not really open, but look how perfect that pass is. It allows Vinny to run onto it and get ahead of the player. Just chip it over into the middle. Shield him off. Nice shielding into Chamberlain because I see that movement going forward. Should we take an early shot? I say why not? Let's go ahead and green it. A power shot just to see if it was going to fly in. And the keeper ends up saving it. He's going to go for a skill move. I know it. There you go. That's when we step with Ox. And that's when we go in for the tackle. Ravado, give me an option. Give it into the middle there to Ox. Him with a roulette. Nice turn. Good fake shot. Good turn there as well. Nice roulette. Oh. We will take it. We will take it. You guys see how good his dribbling is, though? His dribbling is incredible. I don't know how we got the ball back there, though. We're going to chase Vieira down. Go on. Keep it going. We're going to keep it going here with a Zerpio. What did I just see? I mean, I'm kind of happy because we came out with a ball. But Ox just got put onto the ground. Go on, accelerate through that space. There you go, man. Ball roll there. Maybe go for a switch here. Vieira is going to be there, but we're still going to go for it because I see Vinny wide open. And that pass is absolutely amazing, but we are going to lose the ball at the end. No pass through the middle there. There you go, man. That's an amazing interception from, interception from Chamberlain. The fact that it's possession-based as well, and it did come at him with a decent amount of pace, is amazing. Get past him, Mendy. There you go. Maybe a through ball through the middle. That's such a good pass. We have an angle to go for a finesse shot, and Kent gets in the way. I believe that was going in as well. Is he going to push for Vieira? He does. Pass it into the middle there. That pass was not meant to go down the line, but we got it to Chamberlain in the end. We could go for a finesse shot. I'm going to keep it going, though. I want a shot inside the box. Look at his dribbling, man. Like, the dribbling, the little tight touches that he's taking is so nice to work with. It did the wrong skill move there. I did not mean to do the hill to hill. I wanted to do another Berber spin. That's a good pass over to Puskas. I'm just going to second man press this. Chamberlain is going to come over and put in a very solid tackle. Early pass into the inside there. I'm going to go for it. Keep it going. Keep it going against Vieira. No shot. He's ahead of Vieira. Go back stick. Kent. Oh, that's a good save. That is a very good save. I'm kind of surprised Vieira didn't just go over and push uh, push Ox off the ball. That's what Vieira tends to do. We're going to push out here. He might go for... Yeah, he might go for it. There you go. This is a proper test. Chamberlain versus Azebio. Come on, Chamberlain. Come on, man. He doesn't catch up to Azebio, unfortunately. But we're here, though. And we do put in a decent tackle. But we go onto the ground, man. I'm noticing that quite often. Like, when he goes in for tackles and the ball starts bouncing a little bit, he all of a sudden just falls onto the ground. So Campbell get that ball. Nice, well played. Good shielding. Nice. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Ball rolled that. Nice turn. And just go for the switch. And it's a perfect pass again. His passing ability is incredible in that midfield. Look how easy Vinny got past him. Ball roll scoop. Nice pass. Shoe across, and it should be in. It's a good touch from Rivaldo. Ox is making that run as well. He saw that space wide open, and he didn't even think for a second. He was like, nope, I'm running straight into it. And it just shows you guys how aggressive he is in that sentiment position. Like, he wants to make those runs. He wants to be that person that scores a few goals. Is he going to go through the middle, or is he going to go up? He's going to go up. We're going to just get out to him here. That's a good turn. Is he going to get past? I'm going to keep it going. Let's go in for a sly tackle. And look how perfect of a sly tackle it is. Maybe he's going to go for the gap. He does. Go on. Chase him down. There you go. Again, just an amazing tackle. He gets out to the player really, really quickly. And you guys can see, I'm trusting I'm trusting in him to like just move across the pitch really quickly. There was no need to switch out to my center back there and uh, bring him out of position. Give it into Vinny. That's a good pass. Into Ox now. We'll roll that. Accelerate into the space. Let's go for a green time shot. It gets blocked, but we get the rebound and it goes in. I'm just going to give it a cross here because there's not really anyone to pass to. Let's go for it. Let's go for the long shot just to see how it's going to be. And it flies into the back of the net. Questions have been have to be asked though. What is the keeper doing? First time that it's wide open. Yeah, I was about to say I'm expecting it to work. So I'm going to go for a first time shot just to see if it was going to fly in. Just to see if we can get ourselves a nice goal this video. And unfortunately, it didn't. That's a good turn from Baldy, but Chamberlain straight onto it. Puts in a very good tackle and he makes a run forward there. Let's go for this. Go on. You see what I mean about his passing ability? Like, look how good of a pass that is. And we have an opportunity to score a goal. We're all scoop. Push it towards a near post and it gets red. And he even goes in for a side tackle as well. 
He wants to pass maybe through that middle. He doesn't. We're going to just transition then straight over to uh, Di Natale. And we put in another nice tackle. His transition speed is really good to work with as well. Like you can clearly tell he's fast going left and right. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing five games of Ox. We scored three goals in those five games. But unfortunately, we could not walk away with a single assist. But you guys saw... How nicely all-rounded this card is, man. You guys saw him going forward with that amazing dribbling ability, that amazing shooting ability, and that amazing passing ability. And on defense, yeah, he can put in a very, very solid tackle as well. The first thing I do want to talk about, though, is the shooting ability. With how aggressive he is going forward in that sentiment position, that kind of shooting ability is really nice to have because you're going to find him in an angle to take a shot and you're going to go ahead and do it. It's not like he he ain't got a shooting ability. No, he has got one. So you are always going to take that opportunities. And yeah, most likely they are going to fly in because his 95 shot power is absolutely incredible. So yeah, shooting ability, really solid on a midfielder. The pace, he was so fast to get out to plays. His transition speed as well felt so smooth. There's certain players that their transition speed does feel pretty good, but you can definitely feel if you go maybe too hard to one side, it takes them quite a while to recover. That was not the case with Ox. He was a player that was really fast with the transition, really fast to get out to players. And something I was doing over and over and over again was giving this guy the ball in the midfield and just sprinting straight past players. So yeah, pace incredible passing ability you guys saw plenty of long passes today man the passing was really good it definitely felt better than 85 the dribbling ability the touches he was taking was so nice to work with he's a player that you can really keep calm you know like you don't need to panic because you know you can turn at any angle really quickly and just instantly get past your opponents yeah dribbling ability insane the defending ability Putting in tackles clearly was not an issue. He was doing that over and over again. The slide tackling as well, solid. Interceptions, I mean, it was good when he got there. But I definitely did notice the reach on this card not being amazing. Like, he's a 5'9 player, so he definitely is going to miss out on certain, certain interceptions. But it definitely was a little bit annoying when he missed out on an interception that was quite close to him, let's say. So, yeah, the interceptions is good when he actually is there and gets it. But, like... If the ball is just slightly to his side, it feels like he doesn't really react towards it fast enough how I would like him to. So yeah, the interceptions were a little bit dodgy. And the physicals, you could definitely tell this card has got that 95 aggression. There's no question about it. And the 94 strength, it was weird. I, I can tell you, I can tell you that right now. It was definitely weird to work with because there were certain situations he was in where he was using it. But then there was other situations where he was going onto the ground like there was no tomorrow. So yeah, the 94 strength, Definitely was a little bit weird. Now, the price of the card, 350,000 coins. 350k EA. It's a lot of coins and you've only got four days to complete this card. Four days. So it's before team of the season. 350k is a lot. Do I believe it's worth it? It's not horrific pricing because you have to understand this card is obviously really good and the links are amazing. But I think it definitely is overpriced. I think EA have gone a little bit crazy, especially just before team of the season. I do not see too many people completing this card. Now, a good alternative, let's say, is Noble. Understand, yeah, the links aren't, you know, the same, especially one playing for Liverpool, I one playing for West Ham. But it's like Noble is also English and he is amazing in that midfield as well. So, yeah, if you don't want to get Chamberlain, but you do want an English centre mid in the Prem, Noble is an amazing, amazing option. Now, where does Chamberlain go in the midfielders tier list? It's a hard one, isn't it? It is a hard one. I feel like maybe a decent comparison would be... I was about to say Lucas Pereira, but like Lucas Pereira is not a decent comparison, is it? Like Lucas Pereira with 5'5", five, five, and yeah, I would definitely take Lucas Pereira over him. This Ox card is really, really nice. There's no question about that, especially with how all-rounded he is with the high, high work rate as well. It's solid to work with, but I feel like that strength definitely did let me down today, and certain interceptions that was going past him, I wasn't really too happy about. I am going to put this card into the A+. I feel like he deserves the A+, and he doesn't deserve to go into the S-tier. But as this, as this is a road to the final, you never know, right? He could become an S-tier card. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.